Okay, welcome back to the second part of this lesson number six about date uh, and conditional formatting. So we're still in the date format. Let me share again to you the same Excel file that we were using. Okay, now I've shown you here, let's say here in this example about um, using a holiday or considering holidays it's just one day okay what if you want to uh you have two or three days so in that case let me type a list okay of these dates let's say the dates is 16 04 2020 got it okay so that's the date that we considered here 1604 2020 this one is 1604 2020 if you're considering in three days let's say holidays 1704 uh, 2020 and then 18 no no 16 17 uh, now it's 15 16 17 is Thursday uh, let's have 18 19 20 Let's go on 20. Four. These are the three dates that I will consider as holiday. If you want to have holidays to be considered on your formula or function, you have to put it in a list. Okay. Now, how are we going to consider this? I'm just going to use the same formula as Workday International here. So I'm going to copy this, okay? But I'm going to apply it here. Uh, so let me format this in a long date again. So again, you have to format this because the, the result is a date. So it must be a date format. So I'm just going to write or copy the same formula or function Workday International today 10 7. Okay, remember uh, after the 7, uh, which is the weekend, they specify that Friday and Saturday is the weekend in Oman or in, in this function. So holidays will be number of days or not only more than one day. So you have to use a list and call it E2 to E4, where in your list is. Uh, stated okay or written here so once i press enter here just again see the function and then press enter okay so now there's a difference you can see here it's 2904 without the holidays okay while in here there is a holiday that we considered and the result is may 3 not 2904. Okay. Now let's switch back to the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. The last function that we're going to discuss, functions that we're going to discuss here, is network days. Okay. Network days. Count the work days between two dates, ignoring the holidays. Okay, so if you want to know how many days, okay, working days, still this is working day. So American standard or American, uh, yeah, American standard, they their working days is Monday to Friday. Okay, so this is the network days. If you want to apply Oman setup, or, for example, not only Oman setup. Let's say uh, McDonald's setup. You have a you have payroll staff. Okay, so there or the work days there is not even uh, Sunday to Thursday. So sometimes the off okay the, the off of a staff is considered a weekend is Monday. So work will start from Tuesday until Sunday. Okay, so that's the working day for them. So you can specify that 
using Workday International. But your, uh, the idea of net, uh, the difference of this is that from this date to this date, how many working days? Okay, why is it important? You want to pay somebody on the days that he worked. You want to count. He started from this day, he ended in this day. That's it. Okay, you want to count how many days. Uh, there are also several applications, not only this. Okay, but let's see. Let's go back to our Excel file. Okay, so we're not going to be uh, um, going to use another column. Let's say let's go on G equals net work days. I'm going to use first the first one. Uh, start it in eight end date. Okay, so still I'm going to use today. Okay, but the end date I have to use. Uh, let's say 31 May 05 2020. Okay. Uh, network days. Uh, Holidays, we don't have holidays, so let's just keep it like that. Network days today until May 31, 2020. How many days? 33. Okay, we don't need to, um, we don't need to, um, we don't need to change the format because by default, it's a number. The result is number of days. It's not date. Work day function result is a date that's the time you have to change the format the number format to date but network days you're counting the number so the result of this is already as is okay so we have 33 days from today until may 31 working days okay but that's american standard so that's monday to uh monday to friday so we have to correct that so let me copy the formula and the function network days. I'm just going to put that INTL today and then 31 of May, but we have to specify the weekend, which is seven applicable in Oman. Okay, if you say, if you want, uh, uh, as I said, in McDonald's, the setup of Monday as they're off or the uh, weekend, you can specify 12, not, not seven. So if I press enter here, so it's the same, 33, 33 days, working days. Okay, but if I change it to 12, for example, it's the McDonald's. It's 41 days, okay? 41 days, uh, the considered number of days that he worked is 41 days, okay? So that's what is the difference. Okay, let me just try if we can apply I'm copying the fu function and I'm going to go here, paste it. Okay. And I'm going to apply seven Oman. Okay. But I'm going to put holidays and I'm going to use the same holidays here. Okay, so the answer is should should no should have should only be positive because positive numbers because we're only uh, counting the number of days working days. Okay, so network days count the number of working days uh, that will exclude the holidays if you will specify like these things, uh, this these dates that I specified here. Okay, press enter. Now it's only 31 days. Okay, so from uh, today until May 31, if I put holidays there, of course, you will not count the number of holidays because you will not pay anybody if there's a holiday. Okay, he didn't work on that. So that's why it's only 31. Unlike here, it's 33. Okay, so that's the end of the date functions. I will continue with the last uh, uh, part of this lesson, which is introduction to conditional formatting. Let me end this.
okay so if you uh, uh, if you have a question you can always come to the live session or communicate with me via email or uh, leave a message here uh, on Microsoft Teams. So uh, on our Microsoft Teams, you can leave a message there. Uh, so if you have some doubts, please don't hesitate to contact me, okay? So see you on our next video for the last part of this lesson. Peace out.